Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about fungi general characteristics and its classification. Fungi are eukaryotes, non-photosynthetic, non-motile. Most are saprophyte. That means living on dead organism. Then uh, they absorb heterotroph. They are absorbed absorptive heterotrophs that means digest food first by releasing digestive enzymes to break down organic material or even it could be their host that means in which they are living as a parasite and then they start absorbing the nutrients food storage is generally in the form of a lipid or glycogen now the study of fungi is called as mycology. Now the person who study fungi is called as mycologist. A fungicide is a chemical used to kill the fungus. They usually, that means the fungus can grow best in a warm and moist environment. Some fungi are edible like in case of mushroom and uh, while some are poisonous they are important decomposers and recyclers of nutrients in the environment most of them are multicellular except the unicellular yeast they lack true root stem and leaves cell wall of the fungus is made up of chitin now this chitin is a complex polysaccharide the body of the fungus is called as thallus it grow as a microscopic tubes or filament called as hyphae some fungi are internal parasite and some are external parasite few fungi act like a predator and capture prey like roundworm this is the roundworm and this is the fungal mycenium which act like a predator. Now what are hyphae? Hyphae are tubular shape, one continuous cell filled with cytoplasm and nuclei. It is multinucleated. The cell wall is hard and it is made up of chitin. Now this is the stolon. Stolon has horizontal hyphae that connect the group of hyphae to each other. This is the root like structure which you can see here. This is called as rhizoid. It is a root like part of hyphae that anchor the fungus. Now the hyphae consists of a septa. Now this is called as a septa. This cross wall is there. No? That is called as a septa this septa form a compartment the septa have pores in between the septa there will be a pores which helps in movement of cytoplasm they form a network now this hyphae form a network called mycelium that run through the thallus or even you can say that the mycelium is a mat of hyphae visible to the unaid eyes example if you you can say i mean you can see those things in uh, bread mold Modification of hyphae. Fungi may be classified based on the cell division. Uh, it could be with or without cytokinesis. First is aseptate. Aseptate or xenocytic. That means without septa. When there is a septa, it is called as septate. Apart from septate hyphae and xenocytic hyphae, another modification of hyphae is hostorium which 
act as a parasitic hyphae on plant and animal cell. Uh, another one is hyphae adopted for trapping and killing the prey. So hyphal growth, coming to the hyphal growth, it only grow from the tip. Mycelium is extensive and feeding web of hyphae. The hyphae are ecologically active body of the fungi. Now this wall is rigid. Only the tip wall is plastic and it stretches. Reproduction in case of fungi is of two type. One is sexual reproduction. Another one is asexual reproduction. In case of asexual production, uh, asexual reproduction, production of various types of spores has been observed. First is sporangiophores. Here the stalk is upright with enclosed sac in which spores are present. This is the sac above the sporangiophore in which the spores are present. Example is bread mold. Then another one is conidia. Here the stalk is upright with no enclosed sac. Example is penicillium. Third one is fragmentation. Here the hyphae dry out, shatter, releasing individual cells that act like spores. Example is athlete's foot. Then the fourth one is budding. Here the small cells forms and get pinched off as it grows into a full size. Example is yeast. Next is sexual reproduction. Here plus and minus mating, time, mating types are observed. Here the hyphae of different mating types fuse to form a zygote which is um, uh, which give rise to a specialized structure that produces spores which is diploid. Most fungi are haploid throughout the um, life cycle. When the environment conditions are favorable, sexual asexual reproduction occur rapidly. When unfavorable condition are seen, that time stress will be seen in case of the organism. In that condition, sexual reproduction occur and the offspring have increased likelihood that will uh, that they will be better suited for the environment. Now how does this hyphae grow from the spore? After germination of the spore, this hyphae will produce a mycelium. Mycelium have a huge surface area. More surface area aids digestion and absorption of the food. Now these spores may formed directly on the hyphae like in case of penicillium or it could be inside the sporangia like in case of pylobolus or it could be on the fruiting bodies of amanita which is a mushroom. Now what are fruiting bodies? These are modified hyphae that makes asexual spores. There are three types of fruiting body. One is Basidia, second is Sporangia, third one is Ascus. Fungi are classified by their reproductive structures and spores. The reproductive structure are Basidia, Basidiomycota, Sporangia which comes under Zygosporangium, Ascus in case of Ascomycota. Fungi is classified according to its nutrition. They are of three types. One is saprobes, second is parasites, third one is mutualist. In case of saprobes, they are also called as decomposer because they grow on dead and decaying animal. Examples are mold and mushrooms. Whereas in case of parasites, they are harmful to the host. Um, some of the example are rust and smut, uh, rust and smuts which attack plants. Mutualist, here both host and the fungus have a benefit. Example is lichen and mycorrhizas. 
major groups of fungi basidiomycota club fungi come under come under basidiomycota zygomycota bread mold chytridomycota chytrids am fungi that is mycorrhiza ascomycota a uh, sac fungi lichen here both algae and fungi will be in symbiosis zygomycota it is also called as sporangium fungi commonly called as molds also include blights hyphae have no cross wall that means aseptate grow rapidly include bread mold and rhizophus stolonifer in case of zygomycota asexual reproductive structure called sporangium a top sporangiophore makes the spores rhizoid anchor the mold and release digestive enzymes and absorb food stolon connect the fruiting bodies sexual reproduction in case of zygomycota zygomycota here the sexual spores are produced by conjugation when positive hyphae and negative hyphae fuse the sexual spores are called zygospores zygospore can en endure harsh environment until condition improve next is basidiomycota they are also called as club fungi include mushrooms toad stools bracket and shelf fungi then puff balls stink horn rust and smut now uses of basidiomycota some are used as food like in case of mushroom other damage the crop like smut and rust characteristic of fungi seldom reproduce asexually visible mushroom is the fruiting body basidiocarp the fruiting body is made up of a stalk like strip and flattened cup like gill called basidia underneath basidiospores are found on the basidia annulus is a skirt like ring around some stripe vegetative structure found below the ground ascomycota characteristics see these fungi is also called as sac fungi this cup fungi Uh, i mean this uh, fungi consists of cup fungi morel truffles yeast and mildew maybe most of them are plant parasite species which comes under ascomycota are plant pa plant parasites reproduction is both sexual as well as asexual ascus the uh, sac that make ascospore in sexual reproduction specialized hyphae known as ascocorp contain aci yeast reproduce asexually by budding where the bud breaks off to make more yeast asexual spores called as conidia forms on the tip of the special hyphae called conidiophore uses of ascomycetes like for example truffles and morels are good examples of edible ascomycetes penicillium mold makes the antibiotics penicillin some ascomycetes give flavor to certain cheeses then saccharomyces cerevisiae which is a yeast is used to make bread rice and ferment wine chytridomycota called as chytrids they produce motile spores mostly saprobes and parasites in aquatic habitat biodegrade and recycle nutrients mycorrhiza fungus associated with plant root mutualism between fungus and the plant here the fungus provide nutrients and water uptake for the plant whereas the plant provide carbohydrate for the fungus several kinds are there in case of mycorrhiza one is zygomycota here the hyphae invade the root cells second is ascomycota and basidiomycota here the hyphae invade root but don't penetrate the cells 
extremely important ecologically <laughs> next is lichens here mutualism between the fungus and the algae especially cyanobacteria has been seen whereas uh, some fungus helps in water absorption and uh, mineral absorption whereas the algae or the cyanobacteria provide food for the fungus there are three forms of thallae one is folios second is the fructi fruticose and third is crustose see these lichens act as a biomonitor because the thallae act like a sponge some species are more sensitive to pollutants thus they can act as air quality indicator most resistant species can also be analyzed for pollutants thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you